Hey guys, my name is Logman and welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything or AUA, where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. Obviously, as you can see, Duke is not here because I fired him. <laughs> In today's episode, we find out which graphic card can you get around for 1000 ringgit, compatible micro SD cards for GoPro Hero 8 Black, and future me, cue the intro. We'll start with a question about graphic cards. Quick question, where can I get a graphics card physically in KL and what model will you recommend for 800 to 1000 ringgit? Turning to our resident PC expert here at Soya Chinchao, Mr. Raymond, for the answer. He recommends the Radeon RX 6600, specifically the non-XT variant, which goes for in the neighborhood of 1,100 ringgit. Yes, this is slightly more than your budget, but you could get them cheaper during sale events by seller discount or using platform vouchers. Compared to the similarly priced NVIDIA RTX 3050, the Radeon RX 6600 is on average 29% faster in 1080p gaming and 23% faster in 1440p gaming. Taking God of War as an example, on the original quality preset, the RX 6600 manages an average of 98 frames per second, while the RTX 3050 manages 60 frames per second. Cranking the resolution up to 1440p, you get a smoother 67 frames per second on the RX 6600, while the RTX 3050 manages 37 frames per second. In Forza Horizon 5, at high quality preset, the trend is the same, with the RX 6600 managing an average of 154 frames per second at 1080p, while the RTX 3050 does 96 frames per second. The same goes for 1440p, where the RX 6600 still manages over 100 frames per second, while the RTX 3050 falls to 79 frames per second. Yes, the RTX 3050 still provides playable frame rates, but with the headroom provided by the RX 6600, you have the option to increase the visual settings further while still maintaining a playable performance or favor a high refresh rate experience. It's also worth noting that the performance difference between both graphic cards will not be the same across all games. There are titles where both cards will output similar frame rates. With that said, more often than not, the RX 6600 will be the better performer. Now, if we're talking about running games with ray tracing performance, then it's a different story. Depending on the game optimization for both cards, the performance here will vary with the RTX 3050 and RX 6600 trading blows. However, even with DLSS on the NVIDIA card and FSR on the Radeon card enabled, the performance is generally poor with frequent frame drops at 1080p resolution. You can get the Radeon RX 6600 at resellers like All IT Hypermarket, which has both online and retail stores. As for pricing, All IT Hypermarket currently advertises the card for 1,019 ringgit. Links to the online stores and retail store locations can be found in the video description. Closing out this episode, what is the best SD card for the GoPro Hero 8? Okay, see, the GoPro Hero 8 Black uses a micro SD card, and you can easily find out which card works best with the action camera from the GoPro website. If you are unable to get your hands on these recommended card models, then you can search for micro SD cards that meet the minimum spec requirement, which is a Class 10 or UH Speed Class 1 or U1 rating. Both ratings refer to the minimum sequential write speed, which in this case is 10 megabits per second. The Hero 8 Black has a maximum bit rate of 100 megabits per second for 4K videos. That's 12.5 megabits per second. As such, I would recommend that you get a micro SD card with a spec that is one step above the minimum requirement stated by GoPro, just to give some headroom. So in this case, it will be a card with a UHS Speed Class 3 or U3 rating, capable of a minimum sequential write speed of 30 megabits per second. Well, that concludes our episode for today. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok to get the latest news on almost everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and comment down below if you want to see more of me or 
Duke, you know? Okay, bye-bye for now.